Is Santiago Espinal going to Los Angeles? I, I think he's got the, the a very strong case for it. You take a look right now at our Chevrolet MLB All-Star Ballot Watch. And in the race to start the All-Star game at second base, Jose Altuve is the leader right now. But Santiago, Santiago Espinal, as we said, has a case. And we are pleased to be joined by the second yes. baseman for the Toronto Blue Jays, Santiago Espinal, who joins us now here on MLB Central. Santiago, when you see your name being atop the, the vote watch for the All-Star Game, and considering your journey and the, the journey to the big leagues, I mean, what, what does that say to you? What, what stands out when you look at the situation you're in? Uh, well, first of all, thank you guys for having me again. Um, you know, to have my name up there, man, uh, is a blessing, uh, especially right next to a two women. Um, since I was, a, yeah, I was dreaming of this, and uh, you know, right now I'm on those lists. It's so interesting because we think of players and that they'd want to break, right? But I talked to Dero, and he said, "I never went to an All Star game. I'd love to go. I'd die oh, to go to an All Star game. It matters to you, doesn't it, Santiago?" Oh yeah, it does. It does. It really matters to me. You know, this is something that I've been dreaming of, and um, you know. Having the opportunity to go to LA and um, you know have fun over there, then I mean it will be special to me. Are you going to hang out on our show if you come to Los Angeles? Because I feel like we're best friends. <laughs> yes, I will. I will. I will. <laughs> Promise. Yeah, San Diego. Oh, yeah. Uh, San Diego. Santiago. If you go to LA, there's a chance you could be turning double plays with your with your partner that you currently do with Bo Bichette. Take me bes bes uh, behind the scenes, your rapport, building it with him throughout the course of the year? Because there was a little third base and then second base. Were you always on the backfields in spring training in Dunedin getting your work in with him and working with him? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, in spring training, you know, when I was uh, practicing at third base, I woke up too. And I still do. Um, you know, um, I go to shortstop, I go to second base, and we actually work on double plays over there. And, um, you know, but um, I know I've been playing a lot of second base but I still go to shortstop. I still go to third base and, and still practice those positions. Santiago, we have some numbers here that uh, that you're figured prominently in uh, defensive numbers and second baseman. Uh, as, as we look at there, I mean, this is outs above average among second basemen, and you're right behind Jonathan Scope and Trevor Story. Definitely good company. I mentioned your journey to the big leagues, and success sometimes isn't always a straight path. A great article about you and the athletic you were born in the dr moved to the states you had to go the juco route you had to find a spot on a summer ball team i, I mean it, you just were relentless what what is your message for for young players out there that have this dream of getting to the big leagues and maybe right now they're not quite on the path that they think they should be what would you tell them I mean, it doesn't matter the route that you go. You ha you always have to believe. Uh, doesn't matter where you at. Uh, you always going to have an opportunity, and I feel like uh, every opportunity that I got, I took advantage of it. And you know, um, just keep working hard, no matter what, uh, no matter the situation. And um, you know, it doesn't matter. Just believe in God, uh, believe in yourself, and keep working hard. I was around your team in spring training, and it was loud. Like, everyone's loud from George Springer <laughs> laughing, right? From George Springer on down. And when I see them put the jacket on, I think the same thing. Everyone's laughing and joking. Who's the biggest jokester? Who's leading the charge? Uh, well, George it is. Uh, there's also Chapman, Vladdy. Vladdy is, is a clown every day. <laughs> what does he every do? Every day he has something new. Yeah, every day he has something new. So um Vladdy, Chapman and George, I feel like those are those three are the one who who brings uh, the the energy to the team. What does Vladdy do? He ran down oh, the man, third he'll make fun line. of you every day. He'll make fun of you every day. And, um he'll he'll bother you no matter what, no matter the situation, no matter what in it is. Uh he'll he'll do something. <laughs> so you got Charlie Montoyo, is he a meetings guy? Does he ever call any meetings? Uh, yeah, he does. He does. He calls in uh, a couple meetings before, um, you know. Has he called one recently? Kind of like to say anything as you guys head into the All-Star break? You look at the standings, you're not technically where you guys should be or where the rest of, uh, rest of us thought you were going to be. What's kind of been his mindset? Is it still every day or is it, hey, guys, let's finish strong as we head into the All-Star break? You know, um, we always come to the field and uh, uh, it, it's always a positive vibe. It doesn't matter uh, 
what the standing is. Doesn't matter how many losses we, how many wins we got. And uh, but we just got to go out there and compete. That's what he does every. That's what he said every day. And I you know we just got to worry about competing ourselves every day and, and, and making sure that we get we get the W. Breakfast. Oh yeah, breakfast, Santiago. What'd you have for breakfast this morning? I had two croissant sandwich. Two. With egg. Ham and cheese and uh, an orange juice. That's oh, it. That's that's my perfect breakfast. Uh, Santiago, you know how lucky you are to be able to eat carbs and look the way you do. And it's just. <laughs> I hope you. Do I it hope while you can. I hope you You're cherish it. You're doing it now. I hope you cherish. Because you're going through donuts yeah. for your birthday, like Lauren just housed donuts. like three donuts, uh, Santiago. So, hey, man, you're you're one of our favorites. Thanks again for joining us. Best of luck to you the rest of the way. Hopefully, we see we'll see you at uh, at Dodger Stadium at the All Star Game. And if you're there, you definitely got to stop yes, by the hang set. Out with us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You got it.